Hi, you guys. So today I'm going to be opening the Lush Kitchen October 2023 Halloween box, <laughs> subscription box. It's, it's so funny. Okay, so let me explain. Let me explain what's been going on with this box, okay? So the other day, it was a couple, th two or three days ago, I was noticing that there were a lot more people um, on my blog as there usually is. So I went in to see, you know, what, what they were uh, trying to find and stuff. And I realized they were trying to find um, my October Lush Kitchen Box video. So then that made me think to myself, hello, where the heck is my lush October 2023 kitchen box? <laughs> I haven't seen it. Shouldn't it be here by now, you know? So then my husband, he started looking in my office and and uh, he's, he says, hello. He says, babe, it's it's been there for a couple of weeks or more. It's in your office. And I was like, what? <laughs> See, because I'm used to the green lush kitchen boxes, right? They, they have this sort of bright green cover. The box is green. And that's what I was looking for. And I did not look into the, uh, the brown regular lush box that I had in my office because I thought I had already gone through it. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm late. I'm really late with my October box, but here it is. <laughs> and um, this was, this whole box was in another box, a regular uh, lush brown box. So it says, adventure awaits, beware, contents may come alive. Ooh, okay. So now I'm finally going to open up this box. Okay. So this one, it looks like Cthulhu or something. Um, and he's taking down a ship. Behold fresh treasures. Interesting. So it's got kind of a pirate motif there. Oh, I love this, look. <laughs> the cup, the box top says, get cracking. <laughs> I, I love it, get cracking. Okay, so. Ooh, this is so pretty. Okay, immediately on the top of my box is this really pretty knot wrap, it looks like. Check it out. Can you see it? So we've got this. Nice. Oh my God, it smells so good because it's been in my in that box. It smells so good. How have you guys been? I've been good. I've been busy. Um, some of you guys know who've been looking at my stories on Instagram. Um, I've got, I've been having fun with the hot air balloon fiesta over here. Okay, so let's see what else is in the box. Ooh, oh wow. <laughs> Oh, wow. This is so pretty. Is that gold? <gasps> Look, it's a pirate <laughs> jack-o'-lantern, a pirate. He's got a patch over his eye. Oh my God. He's And he's got gold on him. Do you see the gold? <gasps> oh my God. This is so one-off, right? I mean, they wouldn't make this for just regular Lush stores or anything like that because it's a pumpkin with a patch on it. <laughs> I love this. Never seen this before. This is a first for Lush as far as this particular style of pumpkin pumpkin um, face. <clears throat> this is awesome. Mm. Okay, that is so cool. That's gonna be hard to hard to use. It's so pretty that you don't want to use it, but I will use it. <laughs> And, oh, what do we have here? Something else. Oh, it feels like a shower gel or something. Oh, pretty color. Red Beard Kitchen Shower Gel. 
Ahoy me hearties, get ye skin aglow with a spicy smoky blend of hydrating carrot seed oil and fragrant fenugreek. Hmm. So this has agave syrup, fenugreek absolute, red mandarin orange oil, and aloe vera gel. Hmm. And it looks like it has beautiful red shimmer in it. And it's called Red Beard. Red Beard. Oh, isn't it pretty? Oh, so pretty. It looks like a red pearl or something. Okay, I've got to open this and see what it smells like. I like that Lush North America covers they seal the top so it, it you know it won't leak all over the place I do like that oh <laughs> it just oh it's so full that it's like it like came out a little bit oh yeah mm. this smells very sort of like herbal it smells like earthy earthy smoky herbal very different very very different and I don't believe unless it was before you know like 1998 um, I don't believe that Lush has ever made anything in this scent okay it's not sweet it's not what I would call um, a pretty feminine floral scent and it's not what I would call a foodie bakery scent and it's not what I would call um, Hmm. It's not citrusy, it's smoky and herbal. Now fenugreek seeds are something that people cook with and, um, and, and it does smell like fenugreek seeds actually. It says that it has red mandarin oil in here but I don't smell it particularly um, and it also has carrot seed oil which is interesting, yeah. Red beard. I think that a lot of men would like this, you know, the men who don't like like sweet or floral scents. So again, it's so pretty. Um, I will write about it when I use it in my blog and take pictures of it up close and, you know, take a video, a little short video of it up close when I pour it out and stuff like that. So that's two things in this box that I've never ever seen before. Next in this box, we have, okay, so Smuggler's Soul did win the vote. And this is the Smuggler's Soul All-Purpose Cream. It's got, Smuggler's Soul fragrance has sandalwood as its primary note in it. As I explained in the, uh, I made a video of the things that we were going to have to vote from for this box. I made that video and in it, I described what Smuggler's Soul uh, smelled like and what it was like. This is made with lemon balm infusion, argan oil, jojoba oil, coconut oil, sandalwood oil, lemongrass oil, rosewood oil, vetiver oil, fresh cucumber, camellia oil, and fresh watercress. It's very difficult to smell anything. I, I literally, it's very light, very, very light. Um, my, the original Smuggler Soul that I have is much stronger with sandalwood than this one is. Like I have my whole nose in it and I can't really smell anything. <laughs> Why is that? It's possible that I've gone completely nose blind from smelling the two things that I've already smelled and so my nose is all but I don't think so because <laughs> I can smell other stuff right now but let me rub some on my skin it rubs the lotion on its skin <laughs> I smell a little better but it's very it's very light 
it is very light compared to the original <clears throat> that I got in uh, Lush UK a long time ago. But it feels really good, actually. Not greasy. It's very soothing. So it says, go under the cover of evocative, soothing sandalwood. It says you can smooth over your face, body, hands, or hair. Okay. It's very versatile and you can use it while shaving too. And that's why it's called multi-purpose crane. So that's smuggler soul. Okay. So scrub, scrub, scrub won the vote. And this is a black pitch black scrub that's made with um, blackberries and blueberries. How many scrubs could a scrub scrubber scrub if a scrubber could scrub a dub scrub? <laughs> don't don't enter don't underestimate the power of the dark crystals infused with the essential oils of rosemary, pine, and bushu. It's got blackberry puree, as I described in my uh, first video when I was describing these. Blackberry puree, activated charcoal, um, black currant powder, black currant absolute, bushu oil, which is kind of fruity, rosemary oil, and pine oil. So it's got some herbally goodness in there too. It's very light. It's very light scented. Again, the one from the UK smells so much better. <laughs> you don't have to go like this to the one, the UK one. You don't have to go to smell it. You can smell it like with it right here. Mm. But I get mostly the red or black currant in here is the note, the primary note in my nose's experience. And so this is again a scrub, a body scrub. You can see how black it is and it's exfoliating so it smooths and polishes your skin and it moisturizes your skin as well and this is the small container so i think that's the perfect size for this actually i'm glad they did it this way because the other size that i have is you know it's very big <laughs> and if you're in the shower it's like it's a little harder to handle than this one so let let me know what y'all think about this um, and and not not in general. I mean about this particular batch of of uh, scrub scrub scrub. Let me know if you if you guys got the um, this kitchen box. I'm just curious. It's maybe a three out of five rating. Okay. Like if you if you haven't tried it, then a three is like the first number that is suggesting that you do buy it if you like um you know playing with fun thick black <laughs> um scrubs and this one for smell i would give it a two um for the way that it feels i would give it a three or four so i know you guys like me to rate things for looks i would give this oh my gosh a four or a five and for smell, um, for smell, I mean, it's different, which I always like. Um, it's smoky. It smells like smoke, honestly. Um, spicy, smoky. So um, it's fun in that regard. Maybe I'll give it a three for the fun part of the smell. You know, it smells smoky. It's kind of Halloween-like. Um, for a regular shower gel, I'd probably rate it like a two out of five, but it's not a regular shower gel. It's a one-off Halloween shower gel. So take that as you may. <laughs> and then we have, oh, this is so pretty. This is Pirates of the Carrageenan bath bomb. And it looks like a treasure chest, a pirate's treasure chest got gold sparkle on it and it's green and um, 
I like this one. I didn't, I don't think I voted for this one because only because I had a couple already. Um, you know, when they came out from the uh, Japan Superstore, remember they had, um, this was like a few years back, they had, I think, 100 to 200 new bath bombs at this Japanese store in Harajuku. It's a concept store. It's really, really cool. <laughs> and Pirates of the Kirigenan was one of those 100 to 200 bath bombs made initially for that store only. And as I recall, it has a it has a green scent to it. Again, it's not very strongly scented, so I really don't know what's going on with that. <laughs> I don't know, but it's really pretty, and you guys can see pictures of this in action um, on my blog. I took some still photos of it in the tub when it's dissolving, and then I also have a video of it in the tub close up to see what it looks like and how it develops in the tub. So that is Pirates of the Carrageenan. And then, and then also in this box, this is exciting. So Glitter Bug Lotion, okay? Glitter Bug Lotion, a lot of you have seen the rare one-off lush body lotions that I have that they made only one time for us. And one of those is Glitter Bug Lotion in the big, um, big pot, the black pot. Um, wow, this was like a long time ago, like a long, long time ago. I would say 2008, maybe 2010, something like that. They made Glitter Bug Lotion. Now Glitter Bug was a massage bar or solid lotion or a body balm they're calling it nowadays. And it looked like a little kind of oval bug shape and it had little little eyes sort of carved into it and uh, glitter bug was you know it also had some uh, fine glitter and so you would rub it all over yourself if you were going to if you were going out to a club or something so that you'd rub it on your shoulders or whatever just to give you a little bit of bling on your shoulders uh, and stuff like that and it, we liked that massage bar so much back in the day that uh, Mark Constantine said, you know, if you could have three lotions that we've never made, what, what would they be? And a lot of people voted for Glitter Bug was one of them. And so they made the lotion for us forum members only. And this is that. Now, Glitter Bug has Neroli and Rose and Vanilla. And this one should have some fine glitter in it. I think it does. Yeah, I think I could see some. It's very fine glitter. So this the first ingredient is almond oil and it has cocoa butter, glycerin, neroli oil, rose absolute, vanilla absolute, It says, sweep over your skin and get ready to party. Apply before a concert, a festival, or just to bring sparkle to your every day. It says, citrusy and cheerful. Neroli oil is, a pro is produced from flowers of the bitter orange tree. Let me take the, Ooh. they fill it full, I mean, which I like. They fill it really full. They don't fill it like, you know, <laughs> two thirds of the way or something. So I like when North America does that. Oh, oh, I like it. I can smell it. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Yes. And that's what it looks like. See how that you can't really see the glitter. It's very subtle. Oh, I just got some on my nose. Oh, I really like it. I like Neroli. Anything, anything in the orange, orange flower family, except for Osmanthus. I hate Osmanthus. I don't like Osmanthus. Oh, this is so pretty. Those of you who are concerned about it having rose, it's not very strong. The rose is not very strong in here. Um, 
again it's it's lightly scented than the original but it's not very sweet at all it's very difficult to um, very difficult to smell for some reason it's like ah, so frustrating so but what I do smell smells pretty good um, I wish you guys could smell the you know the original one it was so beautiful and that's why it was so popular and that's why they made a lotion in the first place from the smell of the um, massage bar that said I'm so glad to try this again I'm so glad to see it again I'm so glad to use it again and um, I'm really glad that everyone voted for it so that's a glitter bug lotion and then this one which I love was also in the box it's a heart and Lush were celebrating their I can't remember 10th year or something like that of the Lush kitchen and so they made a um, special products for it and um, I have yet to show you guys but one of them is this and this was made with the Lush love fragrance which is so wonderful let me get the bottle of love perfume hold on one second if I can find it <laughs> okay here we go all right Lush has made many things in the love fragrance okay um, I have a list of those things I don't know if I have a hundred percent of those things but I have the majority of things that Lush has made on my blog and a picture. This one is made with lemongrass, lemongrass, bergamot, jasmine, rose, and a lang lang. So it's a fruity floral. And initially you smell the lemon and then you smell sort of a, a floral fruitiness. I like it. A lot of Lushies really like it. Mm. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> now, the Love Fragrance goes way back. Actually, they had, Lush had a sister company that they ran in, that was in London. And it was, the store was called Be Never Too Busy to Be Beautiful. And they sold about, about 15 different fragrances or perfumes and each one of those perfume fragrances had a lot of products other bath and body products associated with it in that scent so the love fragrance had the love apple bubble bubble bar and um, the, the beautiful love powder in the shimmery green container and stuff like that so that's where this comes from they used to sell um, I have a if you guys look on my blog I have a, a be never sort of what would you call it like a gift set and it's got the original tall glass spray bottle of love with the really pretty label now this bottle here as you can see it's almost empty um, when Mark Constantine was so kind to uh, fly me from the United States to um, Poole, England, where the headquarters is, he uh, let me go into the the shop, the original Lush shop, and they had all of these kind of vintage perfumes that they had made for that shop only, and um, and they had love, so I got that one, and so that's what this smells like, and. So I really like it and this one is pretty strong. So let me see. Oh, this, this I would rate a four out of five rating. Maybe even a five out of five rating. I think a four out of five rating, right? I mean, if it was my favorite fragrance, one of my favorites, then it would be a five out of five. Um, as it is, I, I like the love scent quite a bit but it's not, my, it's not one of my favorite fragrances, okay? 
and it because it's so pretty <laughs> this green is insanely beautiful and it's got kind of a sheen to it so I would give that a four or five for looks so that's why I would rate it the way that I do and let's not forget this beautiful knot wrap which I love so here's the box with all of the things so cute very different things the pumpkin Lush has never made before and is exclusive to this box and the shower gel they've never made before and is also exclusive to this box um, smuggler soul and pirates of the Caribbean and the scrub 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 are products that have been um, made and sold before in all the stores and online um, yeah and then um, the glitter glitter bug I told you this story about that but those are the products and I love it love 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 it when they make very one-off products like this and like this okay I can't wait to use this in the tub so as far as the box itself um, as far as the box of products I I think I would rate it I think a three and a half out of five rating um, the these two products this and the pumpkin um, really raise it up otherwise it would probably be like a two and a half or a three a rating just for me personally you know other people I'm sure might think like this is the best box so it's just different people's opinion is all so yeah so thanks so much for watching and I'm sorry I was so late <laughs> with opening this box because sometimes I'm just like a dizzy bitch you know what I'm saying <laughs> so uh, let me know if you have any questions and um, down below in the comments box and I'll try to answer as soon as I can or if I can't answer I'll point you in the right direction to somebody who can and um, yeah so soon I'll be making uh, some videos of um, the Christmas bath products I've been using a couple of the Halloween products and a couple of the Christmas ba uh, Christmas bath products so I have um, footage of uh, video footage of those in the tub demos that I have to edit together and do my thing with so I can upload a video for you all for those products so thanks so much for watching and we'll talk to you soon on the next lush video bye bye